Hello boys and girls and welcome to Arsenal TV. This is the preview for the Ch for the Arsenal versus Chelsea game that is tomorrow that is tomorrow. Um now going into this preview now if we look at Chelsea um Chelsea had a good result at the weekend they got a 4-0 win. Um and to be honest they've and plus not just that they got very lucky against New uh, against Norwich as well in the FA Cup. Very very lucky to still be in that game uh, in that competition. Um, now, in this game, I do think that Arsenal, um, we do have to take this game by the scruff of the neck. And I do reckon that Arsenal will probably go with the same formation as to what Chelsea will do at, at the game. Um, there is a few people that's back uh, from injury. Nacho Monreal, I don't know. He got a knock um, at the previous game. I do think that um, Nacho Monreal will probably play. Um so if he does play, it's even better for us. Um, but as I said, guys, Arsenal, we do have to go in and win this. Uh, and if we want to have a trip to Wembley, this is the best time for us to do it. Um, now, now in terms of my 1-11, to there is probably one change um, to it. Um, now, in this game, I would probably... I would have started uh, Mkhitaryan. Uh, Mkhitaryan. Um, but obviously he can't play. If he did, he would be match tied. He'll be cup tied. So because uh, he played in the cup game against uh, with Man United, if you remember. So obviously Mkhitaryan can't play for this game, um, unfortunately. But you know that's who I would have chosen um, to start in, start in eleven. Um, but we can't. Um, so in terms of my one to eleven, I've gone with three at the back. Uh, pretty plain and simple choice for me. Um, there's only one change. Obviously, Alexis is no longer with us. He's gone to Man United. Uh, good bloody riddance, um, to be honest. But, you know, I have, I have to give Sanchez my due. He was... He did hold us very long. Um, but, you know, good fucking riddance. Um, right, I'm going to get into my 1-11. to In goal, I'm going to go with Petr Cech. Um, I believe Cech is the best option to go with for this game. Um, David Ospina, I know he's our cup goalkeeper, but in my opinion, I would definitely go with Petr Cech. I wouldn't go with Ospina for this one. Um, so I would go with Ospina. Uh, I would go with Petr Cech. Uh, now, in terms of the back three, I've gone with Lauren Koscielny, Mustafi, and I've gone with Nacho Monreal. These three players, I believe, has been the best for the back three for us. Um, Nacho Monreal, uh, as I said, got a knock in the last previous game. So I don't know if he's going to be 100% for this game. But I do would like to see him play. And um, and to give us a bit of strength in that back three. Um, Mustafi, I think Mustafi's played well. Uh, he's had some games where... He's had some off games. And, had, and he's had some really, really good games as well. Uh, Lauren Koscielny, yeah, Lauren Koscielny, I had no trouble with him. He played he played a really solid performance against Crystal Palace at the weekend. Mustafi didn't do too bad either. Um, but, yeah, that's my back three. Um, in terms of right back and left back, right back is going to be Hector Bellerin. This guy really does frustrate me a lot. Because um, in the warm-up, he can cross the ball. But when it comes to the match, he can't cross a ball. So I don't know what it is with him. It's either he can or he can't. It's simple as that. Um, but if he can do it in the warm-up, he can do it in the match. I don't see what the point... I don't see the difference. So Hector Bellerin will go in there. Um, also, I would keep Hector Bellerin there because of pace. Um, because he's meant to be like one of the fastest right-backs in the Premier League. So I would keep him in there because of pace where he can track back and, and um, regain possession. Um, so yeah, we'll go with Hector Bellerin. Uh, left back, I'm gonna go with C. Kleznik. Uh, Kleznik. He didn't start in the uh, at the Crystal Palace game, but he got brought on. Um, he didn't do too bad when he got brought on, um, but I think I would I would actually start with Kleznik in this game. I would definitely start him. Um, now, in terms of my defensive midfield, I have gone with Grant Xhaka, and I've gone with Super Jack Wilshere. Uh, Jack Wilshere, I'm very, very impressed with. He's He's been playing really, really well lately. He's been very, very solid for us. Um, Jack Wilshere has been... I reckon he should be captain. He should go as captain, definitely. We need to put him as captain completely. 
Um, but yeah, Jack Wilshere. Grant Xhaka. Grant Xhaka has, uh, has played well in previous games. I think he played really good against Crystal Palace the other day. Um, I think the reason why probably a lot of players don't like him is because they think, oh, he's had a poor game. Um, and this, that, and the other. But you know what? I think Grant Xhaka, I think he will start to play the way he should be very, very shortly. Um, but I reckon he'll start to get his form back very, very soon. Um, now, playing as in the number 10 role, I have gone with um, Ozil. Pretty plain and simple for me. What a performance. He played really, really good at Crystal Palace this week, uh, in the last game against Crystal Palace. He played absolutely solid. He played superb. Um, but I want to see this more from Ozil. I want to see this very, I want to see it more from him. Because um, Ozil is a fantastic player. And Ozil, you need to sign that contract. Um, now, playing as a two main strikers up front, I've gone with Alex Awobi um, to take over Alexis Sanchez's place for this. Um, Alex Awobi, he's had these problems where he's done something wrong, um, but he really does not. He does need to back up his ideas and start focusing on his football. Um, so yeah, Alex Awobi. Um, also playing up front as a main striker is going to be Alexander Lacazette. I am so happy that he finally got the goal at Crystal pa uh, playing against Crystal Palace. I'm so happy he got that goal. He needed that. That was a confidence booster that he needed. So I really do hope that Lacazette can take this form into this game and hopefully into the Swansea game uh, for the next Premier League game. So guys, there's my 1-11. to 11. Um, I really do hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you do smash that subscribe button. Um, and also hit that hit that thumbs up button uh, and leave your comments below. Let me know in the comments if you agree with this one to eleven or not. Um, if not, let me know what your one to eleven is and your predicted scores. Um, my predicted score is going to be a two nil Arsenal win. That's my predicted score. Um, until next time, guys. Arsenal, it's over to you. Please do not let us down. I'm out of here. Oh, no, 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 no.